today on Running to Him. Sometimes people fail us even after our doing something good for them. That fact should not stop our doing good. Today's reading from the reading plan is Genesis chapter 40, and we will concentrate on verses 13 and 14 and verse 23. Genesis 40 verses 13 and 14 and 23 says this, Within three more days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your office, and you will put Pharaoh's cup into his hand according to your former custom when you were his cupbearer. Only keep me in mind what goes well with you. Please do me a kindness by mentioning to me, to Pharaoh, and get me out of this house. Yet the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. I once had a friend from New Orleans, and after watching me do a favor for a person, he saw it backfire as the person repaid me with a misdeed. My friend's comment was to me, Don't worry, Phineas, no good deed goes unpunished. It would seem that Joseph experienced the same thing. The fact that people sometimes, and maybe even more than that, forget someone's good deed and then act in a way contrary to that kindness should not weigh in on our decision to continue to do good. We are told by Christ in Luke 6.35, But love your enemies, and do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he himself is kind to ungrateful and evil men. We are to live our lives doing good, so that people will know to whom we belong and glorify God. See Matthew 15.16. Now I'd like to dispel that which is being taught in some churches today. There is no reason to do any kind work in our walk with Christ. People who believe this hold that once you are saved, there is no, nothing you need to do to continue in that salvation. Just a cursory look at the Gospels and Epistles blow that theology out of the water. Matthew 7.19 states, Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Paul wrote in Romans 11, 19 through 22, You will say then, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. Quite right, they were broken off for their unbelief. But you stand by your faith. Do not be conceited, but fear. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he will not spare you either. Behold then, the kindness and severity of God to those who fell. Severity, but to you, God's kindness. If you continue in his kindness, otherwise you will also be cut off. Now, I'm not saying that we must keep the law to maintain our relationship with Christ. No one gains or keeps his relationship with God through works of the law. But there is a work that is outside the law, which we should continue to grow to in our growth with Christ. Matthew 25, verses 34 through 40, clearly teaches that we are to help feed the poor, care for the sick, stand up for the oppressed, and etc., These actions do not establish a relationship with God through Christ, but are necessary for our growth in Christ. We are faced with a complicated struggle in the United States today. Many are feeling that the government has abandoned them. The truth is they were abandoned, but not by the government. They were abandoned by us Christians, not ministering to their needs and bringing them into a relationship with Christ. We fail people and our relationship with Christ when we do good while expecting a return. We are to do good without regarding getting a return. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.